Ang bagong iPhone 6, finally available na sa Pilipinas. And si Asus, ano nga bang inanong sa Facebook page nila? At ito naman si Microsoft, ano nga bang pinakabagong smartphone na dumating sa Pilipinas na may, well, affordable na presyo? Hey guys, it's November 16, Sunday. I'm Jam JamJeromeMachetto.com and this is Jam Online TV. So dito muna tayo sa mga bagong iPhones. Well, paulit ulit na tayo sa specifications ng iPhones. Well, we have the iPhone 6, which is a 4.7-inch smartphone. And then the iPhone 6 Plus, which is a tablet na may 5.5-inch display. So ano nga ba presyo nito? Well, yung prepaid version nito or the unlocked version nito ay available na sa mga stores like Abenzon, Power Mac, and iba pa. So actually, available na siya sa buong Pilipinas. So the iPhone 6 starts at uh, 36,990 and then ang... 64 gig is 42,990 and if you have a lot of media files na gusto nyo install sa iPhone 6 nyo eh, or apps na lagay sa iPhone 6 nyo um, the 128 gig is 400 uh, 48,490 so medyo mataas na impression nya but don't worry, it's 128 gig so probably mas malaki pa yung storage nito kayo sa ultrabook nyo and then if you're aiming for the iPhone uh, 6 plus so yung 16 gig is 42,990 same price ng iPhone 6 na 64 gig and then yung iPhone 6 Plus, the 64 gig is at 48,490, pero yung 128 gig is of uh, 54,490, um, so medyo mahal na siya. Pero if you got some mula, why not, di ba? So, magkita pa ng iPhones, kung yun naman i-dislag yung iPhones, like, yeah, Android is better, but iPhones, well, maganda pa rin siya, if you have, especially if you have Macs na mayroon continuity. So, probably magugustan yung mga features na iOS 8 and Mac OS X, the same, the same, the same, the same, the same gig, whatever, it's OS X 10.10. So, dito na tayo sa susunod, the Microsoft Lumia 535. So, finally, hindi na siya Nokia. Wala na Nokia logo dito. Microsoft logo na nandito sa Lumia 535. So, um, yung five, nasa, yung mga five na series ng um, Lumia is basically yung pinaka-affordable nila na Windows Phone. So, the Microsoft Lumia 535 has a 1.2 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 200 processor. So, yung display niya, unlike yung kanya predecessor, so this one has a bigger display. So, it's a it's a 5-inch QHD IPS display. It's not Quad HD, it's QHD. That's 965-540. There's a 1 gig of RAM, so probably may install nyo na halos lahat ng games na nandun sa Windows Phone Store. And of course, there's an 8 gig of internal storage with micro SD card slot. Siyempre, there's a 5 megapixel rear camera with LED flash. And yung magugustan nyo dito is yung kanyang selfie camera, which is a 5 megapixel wide angle camera. So, Look at that. I mean, it's a very affordable smartphone. Now, not really like, super affordable, but it's affordable Windows smartphone na meron wide angle lens on the hand. So, it's pretty good pagdating sa mga selfies. You don't need a monopod anymore. I mean, you could do goofies or whatever you want to call it without using a monopod. So, mas maganda may wide angle lens. So, basically, pag may wide angle lens, mas wide yung range na nakukuha naman ng photo using yung kanyang uh, front camera. So of course, there's a Wi-Fi, um, Bluetooth, and it's um, powered by Windows Phone 8.1 with Lumia 10 in update. So the price is at 6150 So compared to the Cherry Mobile Alpha Lux, medyo magkalapit yung impression niya, pero of course, the Alpha Lux is a better HD display. Pero this one, I guess, magugusan niyo dito yung kanyang camera and yung mga Lumia application. So it's just a 1150 lang yung at what. And if you want yung kanyang mga, uh, well, if you can handle yung HD display, if you can handle yung QHD display, probably you would go for the Alpha Lux. Pero I'm pretty sure na mas maganda yung kanya, uh, yung, I mean, yung Microsoft Lumia 530, mas maganda yung kanyang camera, and probably siguro yung mga applications niya, again, sila, I don't know. So again, the Microsoft Lumia 535 is now available for 6150 and then, dito na tayo sa last one, the Asus Zenfone 5 Lite. So, itong smartphone na to ay hindi pa talaga announced. I mean, announced na siya, pero not official yet. So, these specifications is that, what is that, uh, meron siyang 1.2 GHz Dual Core Intel Atom Z2520 um, processor with hyper-threading. So, ibig sabihin nyo to, pag may hyper-threading, kahit dual core processor lang siya, it acts like a quad core processor. Actually, this is better than most quad core processors na nasa MediaTek. Mas mabilis yung Intel Atom kaysa sa mga MediaTek na quad core lang. Quad cores, not octa cores. So, meron siyang 5-inch QHD display um, compared to the Asus Zenfone 5 na meron HD display. Where similar lang yung size pero pinagkaibig nila is the resolution. Mas mali din yung RAM ito at 1 gig and um, similar ang uh, kanyang camera which is an 8 megapixel um, 
Autofocus camera, that's the Pixel Master camera, the Pro, the Pro, the ASUS, and then there's a DJ Front camera. Of course, in the mobile, it has PA Plus. There's a 2500 mAh battery and Android 4.4 kit that I'm not sure I'm pretty sure that it's more and siguro mas matagal yung battery life dahil mas maliit na yung resolution ng kanyang display meaning hindi siya masyadong mataos sa battery so 2500 mAh na 5 inch display well medyo okay siguro ang performance nito so hopefully um, tomorrow I guess tomorrow ya announce yung price ng Asus Zenfone 5 Lite so I'm pretty sure ng mga price niya is below uh, 6 part kasi nga siya pre this is the Lite version hopefully katapat niya ang um, iPhone 3 or ang um, Cherry Mobile Flare S3 at 4,000 or 5,000 pero hopefully nandun malapit sa range na inyong presyo um, pero kung nandun sa range na probably pwede niya ma ano eh uh, pwede niya makalaban yung kanilang sabi yung smartphone yung Asus Zenfone 4 pero if comparing sa Zenfone 4 and Zenfone 5 Lite I would probably get the Zenfone 5 Lite so I guess that's it for this week's Jump Online TV. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, ko, well, mag subscribe na po kayo. So para po maabangan niyo po yung mga pinakabagong episodes ng Jump Online TV at ang aking mga bagong hands-on reviews, check out these links na baba at geekies.jumonline.tv. So once again, I'm John, jerromancheta.com. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at jerromancheta. Ganun na rin po ang Facebook page ko, facebook.com slash jerromonline.blog. And don't forget to visit my website at jerromancheta.com. So, see you guys again next week.